I own a media company. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about most of the things we do. And I, the other day I caught myself doing some things for TikTok and I was like, hey, we have a team for this. Yeah. It's not worth my time. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to be a dick, but like it's not the type of work that I should be doing to push us forward in order for the, uh, the company to grow mm -hmm. so they can make more money overall. Yeah. Right. That's what you got to like. That's a weird dynamic that you got to kind of push to to where, OK, if I do this, does it help the company grow to where there's more money coming in? Now I can give that person a raise. I can help them grow more. And then we can keep pushing it that way instead of you doing everyone else's jobs. And then nobody has opportunity. And then everybody's unhappy. If you were great at social media and producing content and think editing it and you know things like that, then you would have never made a social media or a content company. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you understand the value in it, but there's a reason why you essentially you made a company out of a necessity that you needed because you either weren't consistent with it or it took too much of your time to do it. So now you can't go creating something and then try to manage the whole damn thing. Because when you tried to manage your own social media platform, it obviously probably it's wasn't, not, it wasn't consistent, consistent enough. Right. And so that's why you hired someone. So what makes you think creating a social media company that you're going to be able to take over the reins and be able to do it consistently and it actually thrive? Right. And we have someone who runs it for us pretty much. Yeah. Right. Like we Max, shout out Max. Max will shout watch out this. Max. Shout I out. just got off the phone with Max. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I, had, I had to call him because, you know, I was, I was not even frustrated because he does an awesome job. It was more of like something that I was kind of like, why wasn't he reading my mind? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, you know, what I mean, the clips is out there. I'm like, my man, like where my fire shit at? You know what I mean? And so um, just hopping on the phone with him and, and um, you know, you got to understand that a lot of people like different type of content. Right. We're all different. Like, right. There's a way to post content um, to to do, you know, to best optimize like algorithms and stuff like that. But then it's who I am. You know, what I mean, you do like a lot of the IGTV stuff. No, right. we quit. So don't do any IGTV stuff. Well, I, that that was part of our conversation. I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm like the one hitter quitter, bro. Like, give me 10, 15 seconds. No, that's what we need. Shit. That's what we need. You know what I mean? And then that's that's what I want. You know what I mean? And so I think it helps because now he's no longer creating content for me um, and not really knowing what I'm looking for, which is simple communication. Right. And so that was that. That's what we got out of that conversation. I mean, it was just like, man, thanks. Thanks for calling me because I got a better idea of like just who you are personally. Yeah. Because you want your content to be, you want people to gravitate towards you as a person, you as a brand.